Where are we going? Magic shop. Whoop, whoop. Oh. We're going to the magic shop where I do a lot of magic. Hey, there you go. There you go. Shout him out. <laughs> you know, I was going to start the vlog, but then I didn't get to start the vlog because you guys jumped into the well, vlog. Let me introduce you. This is Lou, Nieves, Landmine Production. I'm Alex, by the way. <laughs> Yo, I'm Chris. Chris Feliz. I'm with uh, Lou. And I'm with Alex, and we're about to do some magic tricks. I've been in the magic business you know, like, for 12 to 15 years. I have a resume. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. What? Wait, what happened? So, did anybody else notice that the three of us are matching right now, fam? Oh, this with the guy. Green and black, the green and black, and, and the, the green, green and, and black. black. What? I just saw that. Yo. I can't believe it. I was talking to him about that. I was like, yo, what are the odds we're matching? And I was about to say that. And then I was at you and I was like, wait a minute. So when you ask somebody, yo, take a photo of me, right? The whole fit. And they get from here. Oh up. my, my God. God. I hate that. I hate that. Yo. Bro, like, I like get this. it. Not no, everybody's a photographer. This is even worse. Let's do, the, let's do the half body. Here. These guys here, are complaining right? about people that don't know how to take pictures. Here, here. But they cut this part. Or this part. When it cut off here, bro. I get it. Not everybody's a photographer, but Chris Ramsey is in New York, by the way. So what does that mean? That I want to go hunt him down because he's a super celebrity in Magic and YouTube. So hey, you take a Houdini bill. This is our little promotional Houdini poster. It's got our information on it. Be sure to visit Phantasma Magic when you get a chance. Come see the great Daniel Grimm. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Daniel you fold it in half just like this, put on the palm of your hand, kind of balances on there like a teepee. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. The cool thing is if you really focus on it hard enough, you can get, get it to balance really, really well. Oh, yeah, Not just balancing on the palm of your hand, but balancing really well without the palm of your hand as well. So it kind of just sits there with nothing above it, nothing below it, nothing to the sides of it, and nothing around it. So it kind of just sits there in the air, just kind of having nothing holding it up. And at the end of it, you grab the bill and you hand it right back to the person. We're not going to find nothing to see because there's nothing holding it up. It's just the bill that you borrow for something. <laughs> Yo. Okay. So I think I know what it is. Now, if I read your mind correctly, uh, I have a pretty good idea as to what your selected card was. I just gotta find it. And I think it's this one right here, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this card right over here. I'm gonna confirm this card by putting it in this little plastic sleeve that you got right here. Uh, that way I can lock it in and there's no way I can change it, alter it, or mess with it. It's in the plastic sleeve, it's locked in. For the first time. Was your card the Jack of Hearts? No. You sure? I mean, good to see you, Roger. Thanks. Not the Jack of Hearts. Not the Jack of Hearts. All right. Well, with magic, a lot of times, to do magic, you got to believe in it, right? Okay, right. It's a lot of it's optical illusion, smoke and mirrors. Mm -hmm. So imagine, what would it look like if this were your card? Just kind of imagine in your mind's eye. <laughs> imagine. Imagine your card being there. What would that look like? Can you kind of see it in your mind, like an optical illusion? I mean, I can see the card. Yeah, in your mind, right? You can mind, see the yeah. card. And if you imagine it and you believe well enough, it won't just appear to you, it'll appear to your friends as well. They might be able to kind of see oh. in your mind's eye what the card looks like. And if you imagine that this is your card, if you really imagine it, you could imagine me pulling the playing card out from the plastic sleeve, showing you it's a transparent plastic sleeve, and showing you that this is nothing but the card you selected with nothing to hide, nothing to show. But that's only if you imagine it really well enough. Yo, I imagined it really well enough. <laughs> Holy shit. Examine the half dollar. <laughs> he doesn't even say that, but it's the trick. <laughs> Examining the half dollar. Yes. We're gonna turn it to a full dollar? Here we go. Real, real half dollar? Yes? Yeah. I'll just a jelly try that one. Yo. <laughs> what the heck? Mommy. That's yo, so that's cool. insane, yo. That's so cool. That's real, too. This is a real half dollar. Alright, so we just finished in the magic store of Houdini Museum in New York City. Came out here with Alex because Alex wanted us to come out here, me and Chris, to see. The, he, the Alex wanted us to come out My here and see the Houdini Museum. Alex ended up buying something. Just Shh, don't say that in the vlog, dude. He came here and bought some stuff. All right, so Alex Roth is gonna do this magic trick for us. I don't know if he's completely ready, but he says he has rules to his tricks. So go ahead, tell us. I 
just want to let it be known that they've already seen this trick and there's there's am I in focus? There's a rule in magic, not a rule. But there's a thing in magic that states the first time is a trick, the second time is a lesson. Okay. So I'll do it for the vlog, but it's very likely that they're gonna be like, oh, 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 what's up? No, just shut up. Just just enjoy the trick. God. This is what I deal with. This guy, bro. Alright. Do it. Come on. One. One, right. two, three, four, five dollars. Front and back. One, two. We're in New York City, the cops are gonna pull over like, yo, are these guys gambling over here? Yo, what the hell's going on over there? Watch, watch, ready? Yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> Did y'all see it or what? I still don't get it. I still, I still don't get it. That's a good one, let's go. Let's go. Hold this real quick. Hey, hey Lou, it looks like uh, you got something in your lens right there. Whoa, a dollar, look at that. <laughs> I didn't even see that shit go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Hey guys, in case y'all wasn't aware, this is a new post. Welcome to Top of the Rock. I told you. <laughs> I told you. Wow. Oh my god. No, this is breathtaking. Yo, I'm only looking I'm only looking at it through a window. Oh my god. Yo, I find this oh fascinating. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh look at that. Oh man. I am not even playing. We gotta go up the, we gotta go up that elevator. Look at that. Look at that. I'm sorry. Yo, look, look at that. Look at that. You got look, you got the you got the the Empire and the Freedom Tower. Which one's the Freedom Tower? All the way over there. You see what? The other tall one over there? Yeah. That's the Freedom Tower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no better view than that. You got like the two main buildings of New York. I'm just so happy to be up here. Like this is like, to me, this is like a, a perfect example of the world is my canvas. Being up top and actually getting like a view of the peace of the world, if that even makes sense. Because, oh my god, oh my god. This is insane. For the people that are watching this, if you waste money on dumb stuff, like 20, 40, 60 to 100 dollars on food every week, 40 dollars to come up here at the top of the rock to get an inspirational view, you can't beat it. Yo, <laughs> so tell them what this is. That's like. Alright, we finally made it up here to the top of the rock where Chris has been wanting to come for the longest time. And, you know, we just left the magic store, the BH, and we're just like, you know what? Let's do, let's go. Let's just do it. And we came here. It's it's an amazing experience. Who would have thought that we would be here like a year later after we've met, made videos, and now a year later, Chris is about to do his first ever gallery showcase and I just can't wait for y'all to see it. So now that you're finally up here, man, what does it mean to you? What, like, how do you feel? Oh, being, being up here, I'm sorry, is, is, um, truly an inspiration, you know, being able to see the whole city from, from up top, you know, this is like a real, like, the world is my canvas type of feel being up here, you know. Um, it is a little bit dark, so, you know, you can't really see much or at least the way I envisioned it. So I would definitely be coming back here, um, sunset, you know, a little bit before sunset to just try to catch more shots of, of the day. But, um, overall, it's, it's an amazing experience being up here. Oh, man. Yo, what's, what's going on? This is Yo. Alex Rowe, Hack and Loose Channel. Yo. We're here what? at Headroom Ball. He Headroom Ball? Headroom Bar, Bar and, and Social. Social. Where New Jersey meets New York. Chris Felice's Art Gallery Showcase. And so, without further ado, I would like to introduce our guest of honor, Chris Felice.
still filming too. This guy is still not here. I bet his footage looks better because his camera's newer. Hey Lewis, can I have this footage? All right, all right, and then I got we can. It, I got it. Hey! Alright, hold up, we're back on this one. We're back on this one. Yo, you've been talking to my camera? Oh, uh, dog, we've been going at it all night. Audio. Buenas tardes, damas y caballeros. Welcome to the first episode, yo. First episode of Oye Mi Gente con Don Fabian. I am here with the one, Gray and Oli, amazing photographer, having his first ever gallery art showcase event right here in Jay City, New Jersey, with none other than Chris Felice. Bro, how do you feel? How, how do you? How is it? How does it all coming to you? How is it hitting you right now? It's a problem. I don't see the mic connected to the thing. <laughs> My nigga, it was uh, it, it was. A prop, yeah. but I, I, need just, <laughs> I, I need that clip. I need that clip. It's Never. a prop. That was great. <laughs> Vlogging at BNH. Alex Ralph does not know how to drive. Driving in Tokyo. Oh wait, there's Chris Felice. Can you see me through the hole? I'm I can see you through the hole. Driving in Tokyo. Can you see me through the hole? Yo, children, look at this. We are discussing the pronunciation of GIF. You say it is GIF. Gente, oigame, it is GIF. It GIF, nada más, nada más, nada menos. GIF, no fuimo. Okay. What do you say, Alex? I say what it is. It's a GIF. It's a GIF, and it's great because it's good to know how to pronounce it. I don't think that's. No.